think I made it work. Ah. I think it worked. Sound. I think it worked. I oh my god, I think I did it. I'm pretty oh. sure. <laughs> oh my well, god. If you do it okay. again, you're going straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. It has been a while since I have been inside of this television set, so I don't know how things work anymore. <clears throat> Also, really having a lot of fun with the new interactive countdown for the retro stuff, where we can just add coins to the total. That's... Hey, isn't isn't Thomas supposed to be a potato? Uh, you know, let me go... I thought you had him as, like, a Minecraft potato or something. Yeah, well, I had both of you as stuff. Uh, here, I have an idea. Let's go do... We're going to debug this shit in production, as we do <laughs> here on the Zunder stream. Let's see. change the way it works they might have changed the way it works in the background or in the back end i don't know anyway hi happy tuesday i'm back and um i'm gonna be playing uh, super mario world tonight because i wanted an excuse to do the retro stuff because i haven't done it in a while i would like to do retro stuff in rotation again more often it has been a it's been a while Been a while. Been a while. I wonder. And, and uh, we're here chilling too. Hmm, that's true. Hi guys, I'm here too. Yeah, that that guy's here too. He's also here. Maybe it's just maybe it's I don't know. Uh. Okay. Debugging on my hmm. own too. Yeah, I don't even know what's what's the what's the whole thing with this. What's the what with the who? The who what now? Who? Uh, you guys are okay. Cool. I don't know. Uh. All right. You all cook. Anyway, we'll figure it out. I don't care. I, don't, I no longer care. Um, Have you tried caring? No. Ah, uh, well, that's where they get you. That is where they get you. Uh, oh, yeah. Man, I totally remember this from the original hardware. Yeah, well, you know. Mm -hmm. You should. Oh, I haven't even tested that the, uh, the audio works. Uh, well, I guess we're going to find out. I also don't know why there's a guy running around this town who thinks he's a superhero. Nor why his name is Peen. Well, the, the audio is not working the way it's supposed to. Have you tried asking it politely to work the way it's supposed to? No. Let me go fix it, because it is it has been a while since I have done this. <clears throat> it's fine, I'll figure it out. I always do. Where is the retro? <laughs> oh hey, you wanna hear uh hear a fun story in the land of seven star uh terror raids? Yeah, let's oh, go. man. Do so, I ever? The latest one was our favorite drugged out boy, Hisuian Typhlosion. Love that boy. 
he he looks like he's just having all the drugs and he's so happy about it. I mean, he is. And uh, for those not in the know, his whole thing is that he has a move called Infernal Parade that uh, does more damage when uh, someone has when the target has a status of effect on it. So the whole gimmick of the raid is to he he spams Will-O-Wisp if you're not burned. And then uh, we'll then try to hit you with Infernal Parade. Oh, hey, I hear stuff. Mm -hmm. You do. We're going to erase this one. Goodbye. Okay. Well, we hardly knew ye. Anyway, Infernal and, Parade. Yep. So as part of his uh, raids AI, he wants to prioritize using Will-O-Wisp if you're not burned. One of the newer uh, Pokemon, uh, Dash Bun, Dox Bun, whatever the hell you want to call it, has uh -huh. an ability called Well-Baked Body. For those of them that know, this Pokemon is a dog that is bred. That's his whole thing. <clears throat> oh, under, yeah, his that under one. Evolution, his under-evolution is Fido. It's purebred, you see. Yes. And so, despite this little shit being a fairy type, mm -hmm. people bring him to a fire type raid sure because uh typhlosion's ai isn't smart enough to know that he's immune to well-baked but because of well-baked body you're actually giving him a defense bonus and he has body press so um yeah he just sits there and tries to will-o-wisp you literally the entire raid so you're just free to bully him with the dog that's pretty fantastic easiest easiest win ever i like bullying people with dogs in mm. video games oh hey speaking of people bullying me um so you can't I see it anything i didn't say you did i again i didn't say you did i you're fucking projecting aren't you you, you implied anyway Remember when he was like lollipop bullied me yeah that's yes. that's exactly what I happened with my ear holes yeah I wonder if I can catch it in the reflection of my phone. Um, let's see. No, it, you probably can't see it. No. No. Okay. So, wait a minute. Wait, I have an idea. That's your DS. Oh, uh, that's my. That's your your Microsoft your Microsoft <laughs> DS. It's uh, excuse you. It's a, it's a two DS. Thank you very much. Can you not tell from the size of it? No, there's only one of them. <laughs> Look, it just opens up like this. Um. So I got, I got an additional arm for my mount. So I've got, I've got a mount here with my light on it and I've got a little clamp where the camera lives, right? And this is the camera. I'm pointing at the camera. Hello. Hello camera. Anyway. Get that out of my face. It has a nail in it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, so I have another arm here that I have set up to where I could set up a second camera because I'm thinking of doing learning crochets and whatnots. Mm, so you could mm -hmm, see mm -hmm. the crochets on the desk. And I also cleaned the desk so that it, you know, won't be terrible to look at. But anyway, enough of that. Let's play a video game. Let's see. I got like two and two hours and 40 minutes. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can 100% it. My money's on maybe. That's fair. Did you um? Did you see the thing I told you about about a while back about uh, Dove's opinion on what a group of chonks is called? Yeah. What? Please tell the rest of the class what what so, what a group of lechonks is called. <laughs> so a group of chonks is called a chumbus, right? We we learned that through through memes. We learned that we. So Dove. We actually, so it's funny. Okay, I'm sorry. It, it's funny you mentioned that because I was, I saw something, uh, something related today. Um, talk, speaking of big things, because remember, remember Big Chungus? Yes. That was coined by James Stephanie Sterling, son. Yep. Oh. Yep. So that was just, just a little bit of, uh, 
of internet uh, trivia there. Anyway, please, please continue. Yes. So I mentioned this to Dove, and his response is, does that mean a party of Lechonk is a Lechumbus? And I, I mean, the I'm logic checks it. out. It does. It does. I keep... You can't argue with that. That's just that's just science. You know how I enjoy logic. I do. You you will enjoy logic more than most people, pal. I I would say almost to a fault. Mm, if you had to choose between logic and potatoes. Well, that's just illogical. <laughs> See, now he hates that. See what you've done, Lolly? You've upset the Tom. <laughs> It's not logical to make such a decision. No. There are zero scenarios where I would have to make that choice. I had fake potatoes today. Define fake. Sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're not real potatoes. They're not real potatoes, but they're honorary because they are starchy and delicious. They're quite tasty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My beloved did uh, instant pot up a uh, pork ass. Ooh, I love a good pork ass. So I ate ass for dinner. <laughs> As is tradition. <laughs> 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 Pork ass and sweet taters. God, I love I love that for you, pal. That's delicious. We had some barbecue while we were on uh, on vacation this weekend. So uh, we did. It was Bean's birthday. Um, actually, Bean's birthday is uh, was yesterday. So uh, happy birthday to the Bean. Since this is the first stream back. Yeah, happy Beanth day. Happy Beanth day. Um. So. We have a clip of us singing her happy birthday while we played Among Us. I do. Yeah, I remember that. That one comes up in rotation every once in a while on the BRB screen. Which reminds me, I want to do something like uh, I want to do something with the with the BRB screen here. Oh, what? Like where you let us enable it? No, 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 no. Something, something not dangerous and stupid. Oh, that's neither of those things. No, that's that is that is in fact both of those things. Agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Fine, I guess I'll just stick to the poor man's uh BRB screen and just spam the watch the entire time you're gone. Probably. No, I want to do something with it, but I don't know what, like, because I don't have a BRB, uh, I don't have a BRB scene for the retro stuff. Like, I have, I have the TV, like, I have the countdown stuff, and I have the TV where I have, like, the camera on or off. But that's it. Oh, 40. Almost got 50. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know what I want to do yet. I, I thought about going and like trolling for old like TV commercials from the 80s and 90s and just putting them all in a folder and playing, playing them at random. With like little TV static between them like I do between scenes like this. Yeah. That might be become problematic for VODs. Eh, for old TV commercials, it's not bad. Because, like, a lot of that stuff is not DMCA'd. It is, that's, like, a lot of that stuff, it's so hard to find some of it. Dun, 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 dun. Or, my other idea was that I make up fake ones. And boy, what a lot of work, but man, would it be hilarious. And you know me, I'm nothing if not committed to the bit. Attack has a 50% chance of recovering five points of endurance. Uh, let's 
do this one. Alright, you son of a bitch. Let's do this. Dang. I did not obtain enough coins. Oh, you sons of bitches. There's two of you. Oh, that's that's probably bad for you. I mean, it's not ideal anyway. Eh, that's fine. Maybe. Anyway, do you like the new interactivity of the uh, the countdown screen? I like some coins. I figure everybody likes a some, like some good coinage every once in a while. Y'all. So wahawa. Yep. Some dollar dollar bills. You know, it'd be kind of neat if it kept a total of who has the coins. Yeah, and then we can spend them on things, like having Zunder eat cranberry sauce. Yeah, we have a oh, thing. Oh, that's different. Those are, those yeah, that's are... A, that's a... No, no, no. Oh, and there goes Yoshi. Hey, remember when Yoshi died? I do. I do remember that, yep. That's all right. <laughs> They'll be back, and in greater numbers. One engine. God damn it, I need two engines, you fuck. <sighs> now I gotta do this all over again. Alright, bonus game time. Have you tried getting more than two? Yeah, sometimes I can get all eight. Every once in a while. Um, what level am I? No, we're not gonna tell me. Could we tell me? <laughs> like that would be cool. Level sixteen. to imagine Mario's knocking them off with its dick. Okay. Hi, Vivian. Viv, what are you doing? Viv, are you doing your job? Viv, do you... Viv, are you at your job where you do job things? Like... This is Jorb. Jorb. Uh, Homestar Runner recently put out a new thing um, about yeah. how Flash is dead, and and they're trying to uh, work around that in very self-aware Homestar Runner fashion. No work tonight. Call it out. Hell yeah, good for you, pal. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, you know what they'll do without you, buddy? They will figure it the fuck out. Yeah. Get fucked, Iggy, or whichever one you are. Well, I hope you're feeling okay, buddy. I hope you just called out because you... Because fuck them. But if you're not feeling great, I hope you feel better. Yeah. I would recommend that you stop not feeling well and start feeling well. <gasps> you're going to get a pisha. We had a pisha for dinner. We made a, they had those freshettas, uh, with the naturally rising crust BOGO at the Publix. So we got a couple of those and, uh, made bean a pepperoni and made me a Supreme. 
I got a couple of uh, DiGiornos Ooh. ready to go for tomorrow night. Ooh, those are good. You know, those aren't delivery. I just, I just want you to know. No. Like, make sure you that know you. How I... <laughs> you know how I know? How? Because it just didn't cost me fucking fifty dollars for a single pizza. Well, that's true. You son of a bitch. Oh man, so got uh well we ordered some some Marcos Ooh. On, on Saturday. Yeah. Right? And the only way you get them delivered now is through DoorDash. Wait, you can't order Marcos delivery from them now? No, well if you do, they still send it DoorDash. I hate that so much. Anyway. Uh, so it showed up and it's completely not the right pizza. Yeah. Mm. And in an unprecedented DoorDash move, they refunded the whole order. <laughs> so. And it was it it wasn't a pizza I didn't like. We wouldn't eat. It was just not what we ordered. So Door so, DoorDash keeps tabs on how much on how much we uh we spend with them right like they know that like especially after damn it i'm trying to time these right and um like after the pandemic started and i was using doordash a lot more um <laughs> spice god bless tim curry um they know that I'm like a... I, I have spent a lot of money in DoorDash, on DoorDash, in my time with them, right? I'm what you might call a power user. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, in my case, I have had instances where they fuck up. And, like, the driver has fucked up. Like, they have delivered to, like, the wrong house. And it was just next door, but I'm like, no, no, we're not going to do this. This is not how this works, so uh, you are going to go fuck yourself, and I don't want this dasher ever again. And they're like, all right, and they'll give me like fucking 15, 20 bucks. Yeah, upwards of dollars. Um, And yeah, like if I have problems with a dasher, they will absolutely take care of that shit. They, they do not fuss with me. Because they know I spend the the doll hairs with them. Also, hi, Karen. Yeah, see, I am in the process of weaning myself off of that service. Yes, so am I. So am I. Especially once you realize that you are literally paying twice as much just for the food. Yeah. It becomes harder and harder to mentally justify it. There are some days where it's just what you need to do, and that's, you know, fine. Yeah. But it can't be, like, the entire meal plan. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love this little area right here. Hi, Karen. And then there's coins at the bottom. So many coins. All the coins. Oh, Karen, you missed it. Okay, so... Karen, you know how I have my little retro countdown that I do that's, you know... That's uh, got all, like, the, the sky and the ground and stuff? Um, I updated it. I redid it from scratch, like I did with my regular countdown. But now, it's interactive, so when the countdown's up... You can do exclamation mark coin and add a coin to the total. It's pretty fantastic. I'm tempted to switch back over to it to us for a second just so you can see it. I'm incredibly proud of it. And it almost totally works. Actually, the coin part of it works great. The countdown part has one minor bug that I think I fixed. Live. Yeah, well, as you know, as is tradition. 
I'm trying to do cool stuff. I also got a, uh, I was, I was saying earlier, I got a new, um, arm that is attached to the side of my mount here that is, that is positioned over my desk so I can get a camera to do over desk stuff. Now, I know you, you wouldn't know anything about that, what, what with your streaming creative stuff and showing people your pyrography and stuff, you know. I have three arms, yes. The the spare is, uh, it's, it's my formal arm. It is a bow tie. Yeah. And a fancy hat. Can I get an anchor point for your mic and light stand? Ooh. All right, let's see if I can... Nailed it! Nailed it! I don't know what I'm going to do overhead yet, Karen, because, like, so... The main... You get an under-desk camera. <laughs> That's toss. That's a very different point website it, you're thinking of. Just point it right at your junk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this camera here, this is a Logitech Brio, and it's fine. Um, like it's resolution's nice. It's got a good frame rate, you know, junk cam God. Um, so I'm trying to decide whether I want to get a different camera here and put that here, or if I just want to get another one of these off of eBay for like 80 bucks and just have a second Brio and it just points down at the desk. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Oh boy, this is going well. I got 18 HP left and I'm not to the boss yet. Oh, there we go. That's the end of that. <laughs> That's, uh, so listen, listen. Um, peer pressure is a hell of a drug. I blame nine and partially you just because all you fucking makers and crafters people. Yeah, I'm... Probably gonna do some crow shit. That's the that's the plan. Do I look okay, like bye. I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Hot, hot, hot dog. JPEG is. I just want a picture of a god dang That's the best I could do. Oh yeah, I can just do this. Don't, uh, don't worry about it, Viv. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, the hot dog. Did you not see how happy the hot dog was about it? And... Actually, Viv, the hot dog was uh, on and around his finger. Very different. Actually, actually, the hot dog was next to my finger. Um... My finger was between the bun and the hot dog. If you want to get technical. Physical. Oh. Well, that's different. I already got physical. Oh, you want to you want to you want to picture the hot dog? Okay. So here's the hot dog. A little little crochet hot dog that best friend Mo made for me. Love it even with its little like its little mustardy bit and and my finger goes between the hot dog and the bun here. Good lord. So, Good lord, that view. That's a, yeah. You like that? <laughs> How about that it's, side uh, boob? You like that? You shouldn't, because that's my side boob. Good night, everybody. Right between the buns. Right. Between the buns. Between two ferns. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. But yeah, we had we had pisha tonight, and it was tasty and a little crispy, a little chewy, a lot of delicious. I was we very happy with the mapisha. A DiGiorno. Hmm. And it was the croissant crust. Croissant. Nope. Should not have done that. Hey, remember that time you died? Nope, I don't. I don't remember that. Nope. That is a lolly. Huh. He's just out here doing lollipop things. Oh, hello, Karen Day. I hear that's her name, you know. Ah, you know. uh, listen. You, you don't know that. You, sh you shouldn't spread unsubstantiated rumors about people. That's not very, that's not very polite. But I lost the motor because, God damn it. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn off the coffee message. I want to do more streaming on live space. Um, now that we can, you know, now that we can simulcast, I would like to do that. Oh, right. I forgot to go off killing again. Hey, uh, you should go off killing again. Oh no, don't worry. Everyone line up. You will all have your turn at being murdered by me. Oh, yeah. No, Live Space does not have issue with that. Um, Twitch is the far more restrictive of the two. Uh, Live Space, their only thing is make sure that you are not violating any terms of the service that you are... Uh, another service that you'll sim you're simulcasting to. Uh, but they are... Their their thing is basically like yeah man whatever whatever works for you as long as you know you're not being a shit bag which I appreciate. Is that what you appreciate about them? Uh, why don't you take about ten percent off their squirrely Dan? Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot they existed. Well, we haven't talked about them much lately. I've I've honestly I've had a lot of other things going on, and I'm just. I've been very... I'm exhausted. I am tired. We'll have a nap. And then fires him as us. Hashtag tired gang. You know it. Oh, fuck, I forgot a stupid meeting. Oh, I would love to... Even in my video games, I have to go to fucking meetings. Why are you going to video... Why are you going to meetings in your video game, bud? Because there's a fireside meeting, apparently, I have to go to. You... You played Porsche, you know how this goes. Oh, oh yeah, you're... You're playing Sandrock, aren't you? Yeah. Nice. I'm I'm thinking about going back and finishing Porsche at some point. Um, this is just desert Porsche. Yeah, but with better combat. Eh. I didn't say a lot better. It's slightly better. It's ass. I'm what? just just gonna put that out there. It's terrible. Porsche's combat, combat. was terrible. Woo! Alright, let's see. Alright, let's go in here. I got... Well, Bear's got some business to attend to. I got shit to do.
beautiful. Look at that. Well, at least I can get the four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Ugh. Top secret area. All right, now let's go back around here. For Christ's sake. Yes. Oh, nothing. Just, just sand rock things. Sand rock things. Just I don't want to. Just my time things. I don't want to be spoilery. That's fair. So I just, you know. I do appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So I played this on the first day of early access, right? And I played the content that was available on that initial release. Yeah. And then I haven't touched it since. So okay. I haven't quite, so I haven't yet gotten to the stuff that I haven't seen already. I'm just sort of, you know, here doing stuff. How does that make you feel? Like I'm doing stuff. You ever done stuff? Against my will. You also do stuff that you like, like eating food, especially potatoes and meats. Mm. That's the good kind of doing stuff. We had the old uh, Olive Garden, I think, the day before you left. Oh, yeah. I did that last week with Lolly again. Mm -hmm. That was our second. That was our second trip of the season. My third, I think, because I went once with Bean and I've been twice with Lolly now. Oh right, water, 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 water. Water, water everywhere, or you know, in this case, unfortunately nowhere. not. Because this is the desert. <laughs> oh, is that how deserts work? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Water, 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 water. How come when you say that it sounds like you're motorboating someone? <laughs> Have you met Lolly? What do we know about Lolly? Well, if yeah, sure, but the, but we're talking about water. <laughs> okay. Water, water. <laughs> it's just like Bromsky. I mean, yeah, kinda. I mean, again, you know, outside of context of Lolly, if you think about just like actual literal motorboating, that does happen in the Man. water. I sent him a picture of of his train. You did. It's true. It's true, and I know he appreciated that's, it. That's a uh, screen cap from Days Gone. Which is a game I finished yesterday, I think. Yesterday, two days ago. But I, I finished it, and that's what's important. Alright, that should be enough to get things rolling again. Oh yeah, what's up here? Oh, nothing. Love that. Oh good. Everyone's working again. Very fine. Alright. Let's go here again. 
Oh, I don't have my cape. Uh, one more bronze bar. Keeper skinning. Bum, 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 bum. That was uh, my scanning keepers song. Um, why does it sound like you're scanning keepers for farmers insurance? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. That's fair. If I told, if I told you, I might have to kill you. <laughs> the keepers, they know a thing or two because they've seen a thing or two. <laughs> but they'll never tell. She won't talk to you, give you the time of day, or give you any kind of acknowledgement of your existence. And also, she has four legs. She might be a keeper. <laughs> <gasps> I have, I have incredible news. I have, I have a loaf update. So this weekend, we asked our neighbors to keep an eye on loaf, which she's self-sufficient, but you know always nice to have someone nearby just in case yeah so our neighbor she came over and we know that loaf is pretty shy around new people however she has seen our neighbor sue uh a few times now so she's she's gotten used to her well our little loaferino our tiny kitten's cat and Sue came over to check on her uh, this weekend while we were while we weren't here, and she came to see Sue as soon as she came in. And Sue was sitting on our couch. Loaf gets on the couch and snuggles up to her. Tom, you are familiar, sir. Mm -hmm. And then she was following Sue around the house. And she, she, she followed Sue to the door as she was about to leave. So, you could say that uh, Loaf has Loaf has new friends now. It's our neighbor. Then there was the other day where I was. Uh, I was keeping an eye on the wee toddler niece um, while Bean and Sydney went to go get petties. And, uh, you know, wee toddler niece, she's a toddler, so she's she's loud and she runs around a lot and just having a good old time. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Loaf. Loaf is a very nervous kitty. Well, I got that. I'll take the three. Um... But at one point, I was holding Wee Toddler Niece. We were looking out the, the like the sliding glass window in the back, and um, um, we were standing right next to Loaf's um, perch or cat tree. And so Loaf was Loaf was she never did run away because Bean got home from work, basically like right at the same time that Sydney. And we taught their niece arrived. And we thought, you know, we thought Loaf was going to bolt, as she typically does. But she didn't. She stayed. She stayed downstairs and was like, she was cautious, but she hung out the whole time. She stayed downstairs pretty much the entire time that Bean and Sydney were gone. Um... Damn. Uh, and at one point I was holding wee toddler niece on the one side when we were looking out the, the, the window and I loaf was on her cat tree and I was petting her. So they got some time together too, which was frankly just amazing. Like loaf, big, big strides for loaf this week. Big week for loaf. Very brave girl. Very bestest kittens cat. Very proud. Could not be more proud. Proudest cat dad ever. Many are saying this. Ouch. 
I already have 55 lives. This is great. You're a keeper. <laughs> Put it in the skin box. <laughs> Save me for myself. Alright. Try this again. Daddy needs engines. <laughs> Love you, Karen. Thank you for the lurky lurk. Karen. Boy, we sure do love that, Karen. Where's my Karen button? There's my Karen button. That's Karen. She does Karen things and also Karen stuff. As oh, it turns man. out. Yep. Ha! Stuff and things. It's true. It's true. She does art with pie. Just cool. Well, sort of. Sort of. Yeah. It's pi pyography. No, 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 no. That's 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 different. What do you mean? It's <laughs> what Karen does is pyrography. It's 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 ever so slightly different. Oh, is that with pierogies instead? Yes. Yes. You know how when you bake pierogies, they get like the nice little browning pretty bits on the edges of the, the, the little pocket there? Oh, you're goddamn right, I know. Yeah, that's <laughs> Karen's the one who makes the pretty, the pretty like, like burnt edges there. That's what she does. Brown foods taste better. Brown foods do taste better. Where'd you learn that, Tom? Uh, brown food school. Bro, <laughs> where'd you learn that? Where'd you learn that, Ambrell? Brown food school. <laughs> uh, I learned that from girl from girl fury. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call her. <laughs> 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 Actually, we okay. So we call her girl spaghetti because we call call him guy spaghetti. Is it offensive to Italian people? Probably. But then again, we have they lollipop. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, and then there's this fucking guy. Yeah. Oh no. That wasn't a great time for input lag. Oh yeah, you should. Whoo! This game has a few performance issues. Not, uh. Not City Skylines 2 bad, but. <laughs> Yikes.
Yikes. That's a keeper. Put it in the skin That box. might be the one thing I never did, was find all the keepers. I don't think I found all of them, but I, I have done... Well, no, maybe I did. I don't know. I have to go back and look at my Xbox Chivos for that, because that was... Those are 360 Chivos. So, uh, last, so on Friday, uh, new season of Fortnite started. Yes, I've heard. Uh, it's, it is the Fortnite OG season. So as part of the storyline, there's, there's been time travel and, uh, Ugh. yeah, Bean and I had that discussion. It's just my least favorite overused trope. Like it's fine. But it's right up there with multiverse. <laughs> Bean and I also had that discussion. Well, it's okay. It's one of those things where, like, with time travel, if the this is this is where Bean is on it. If time travel is the point, it's one thing. If you're using time travel as a way to do lazy writing, that's different. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, Back to the Future. Time travel is the entire point of Back to the Future. And so, like, you know shit might get colossally fucked up because of time travel. You know, wibbly-wobbly, branching timeline, shit like that. And Back to the Future 2 explores that even more, right? Hey, I know that fucking guy. I had breakfast with him once. Um, hi, Zammy. There were no survivors. Zammy, are you feeling better, What's buddy? Up, Sam? How you doing? Zam got a double whammy. He got the Rona and bronchitis. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I was... I don't even want to be mean to him now. I'm sick forever, buddy. You should not be sick forever. We don't have the cure. You're the one with the socialized medicine, buddy. You got to figure yeah. that shit out. <laughs> We don't have shit down yeah. here in the States. Huh. We're the wrong people to ask for that. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know shit about fuck. Now, yes, correct. Now, if you want, say, to learn how to spend way too much money to not get a cure, boy howdy, have I got good news for you. And by good, I mean terrible news. Yeah, ask me how uh, I spent $3,500 out of pocket on my shoulder with insurance, and it still isn't really fixed. <laughs> yes. Ask me about my wiener. And I still never met my deductible, apparently. <laughs> Snow-resistant scientists, we don't... Or like, people from, like, I don't know, Minnesota, I guess? Zam, can we borrow a cup of healthcare? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, can we have one and healthcare? We'll return it slightly used. <laughs> Just slightly. Well loved. <laughs> Badoom. You have no. Yeah. Neither does anybody in the state of Florida, basically, buddy. Because states' rights. <laughs> states' rights is just code for we still want to do a slavery, but we legally can't, so we want to take everything else from people that we can. Mm. 
You can send us some trucks, buddy. We have we invented trucks. Did we? I mean, I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know. Not knowing who invented trucks. That's what it's like to drive a Ford F-150. See? Okay, listen, as long as the only things that go honk that you send us are trucks, that's fine. But don't you send us no Canada Gooses. I do not want to fuck with no Canada Gooses. That's correct. You do not. All right, design and building. Really looks like our. Oh, all right. So it was the Germans, as usual. <laughs> well played, Germans. Fucking Germans always. Well played. Always engineering shit. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's run you this. Got any more of these over here? Oh, oh. Oh, I need a Yoshi is what I need here. Thought cars came out after World War One? No, buddy. No, cars have cars have been a thing for like like before the turn of the century. The turn of the century? No, I that's... I did that this morning. That's, that's, I was about to say, that's that's something you do. It's very different. Man, I gotta get a hold of one of them flying toilets. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the shitter taxi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go into debt for that. More, more debt. I'm about to say we're we're millennials, pal. We we exist on debt. I run on debt and K cups. <laughs> and I'm all out of K cups. Hiltzy. Hiltzy, I love you, but fuck you. I couldn't tell. If you were about, to, if you were like entering a Koopa battle, oh you my, were being raided, or if I was being raided, I'm not paying any attention because I'm uh, doing my thing over here. That's that's very fair, and that's uh, so that's hello the hillster. Hi, Hiltzy. Hello, raiders. Welcome in. I'm playing Super Mario World. Hi, Miss Violet. Welcome in. Ilti, how was uh, how how was Tears of the Koroks? Did you uh, did you commit several war crimes? Like my good friend Lollipop does. I only do that on accident. On sometimes. I only do that on accident sometimes, buddy. Jesus Christ, if you had more qualifiers in there, you'd be a presidential deposition. What? Oops, all war crimes. Oops, That's... all war crimes. Snow, welcome in. Oops, all war crimes. That's... That's pretty much it right there. I'm not growing up, so it's nice to watch these games now. Well, nice. Well, we are here to have for some... For entertainments, mostly. I also never owned one. We had the original NES and then the N64. But, you know, we weren't made of consoles, so. I was made of consoles once. It was very painful. It's on your list to buy at one point. Ooh, nice. I didn't get the N64 until late in the cycle. Oh, thanks to your eye doctor at the time? 
Okay, now, Snow, I have to know. I have to know what this... Yeah, uh, look, we, this, there's a story There's we a need story to hear here, here, and I'm, yeah. I'm I'm already intrigued. I made a money, so they skipped the SNES. Oh, that makes sense. I was I was very fortunate to have uh, a great aunt and great uncle um, who were both retired and like to spend their extra money on me, so I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. And I like to let them. <laughs> yeah, I was a fan of it. You will tell the story? Yes! Milzy, I hope you had fun playing Tears of the Koroks. I mean Kingdom, that's what I meant. Kingdom, yeah, that's it. Go get your food, buddy. Get food. It's it's 9 o'clock your time. Go get it. Eat the Do you know where your Hilti is? Yeah, he's he's getting food. He's he's in he's in he's in New Scotland. New Scotland? Yeah, Nova Scotia. That's Nova Scotia is like Latin or something for New Scotland. But Mochi, Mochi, haven't you played that game before? Haven't you didn't played she make it? She didn't make it. Yes, she did. You thought it was at the end? Yeah, I listen, I made that mistake in my second playthrough. And I'm like, oh shit, that's that's not correct. I'm uh, I'm not at the end here. Oh, hey. Yeah. If you think you're at the end of it, and then it turns out you're nowhere near the end of it, yeah. can we call that a failure moon? No. Well, I'm gonna. Okay. All right, you you go ahead with that. Yeah, there was a Sailor Moon RPG. It was never released in North America, uh, but there are there is a really good fan translation of it that's really well done. <laughs> All the dialogue is just blowing noises. That's because it's a fan translation. You see. <laughs> Why do I still let you in this house? Hell if I know. You still have a key, that's the problem. Oh, that house, yes. I have e a physical key to that Listen, house. Listen, either one. <laughs> I mean, you can remedy that. Zam, I recommend you, I, I recommend you feel better. Why don't you do that? And... No, 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 Zam has a point. Beaton's New Scotland, it wasn't released there for sure. Yeah, yeah. Good. You should feel better. Yeah, get get unwrecked or whatever. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. You don't even know. Is it, just freak the fuck out for everyone else? Mm, no. I don't think so. Oh, I don't have a thing for that. Hold on, where's my... Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna simulate the other event, cause, or I'm gonna... I'm gonna move that to, cause I don't have one. Okay. So, so Hold true, on. First a lot of, of all, stuff just happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Several things happened. Perfect. I don't have I don't have uh, a charity alert on this scene. I need to do that though. I need to make one. Um, Sultry, thank you for the fourteen dollars to Trans Lifeline. That puts us at. 45, 69, 69. Nice. Oh. Nice dot nice, actually. It is nice dot nice. Well, well done, sultry. 
I couldn't figure out why you did fourteen dollars, and I didn't even look at the total. Also, sultry. I was it's, like, I don't know. Fourteen it, just might be the amount you wanted to donate. It's whatever. it's good to see you, friend. <laughs> uh, okay, so Snow says when I was younger, I had to wear glasses. I had a lazy eye. Lots of surgeries on it. One time, I was wearing my Nintendo brand as prescription glasses. My no, jo- no, absolutely fucking get Nintendo. Get your fucking Nintendo brand of prescription glasses. Do it up. During a checkup, told me whether I should get a game console to help with your hand-eye coordination. That was your Christmas main gift. Nice. Okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, also, I guess since I haven't since I haven't done it since uh, the Raiders came in. Hi, I am Zunderscore. I'm over on this channel because there's a video game happening on the other one. It's fine. He only has two. I only listen. I'm working on it. It's an old TV. <laughs> it is. It's very old. I can relate to being very old. And also a TV. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. I have two engines now. Or is we two channels for a bit? Yeah, see, yeah, see. Black. Miss Violet, you get it. You get it. Sir Borkington the Borker Bork. Sir Borkington the Borker Bork. Do I have any water? Oh, it's the water. dolphin level. I love the dolphin level. Here. Base is the dolphin level. Uh, that's that's not very nice. You were devastated just then. I got I got wrecked. Mostly emotionally. I um, I don't care about all these coins. There we go. Uh, but yes, we are raising money for Trans Lifeline. Um, I'm trying. To, I would like for us to hit our five thousand dollar goal by the end of the month. We are just over four hundred dollars away. So if you can, please consider donating. You can donate right here on Twitch. We do have. Um, uh, where's my? Where's the thingy? Uh, it's where the the donate button is. Where the subscribe button usually is. Or if you're on mobile, you can also go to twitch.tv slash charity slash underscore and you can give there. Trans Lifeline is an amazing cause that is run by and for trans and non-binary people. Um, they provide a support network. They also have funding programs for things like helping people get name changes and stuff like that. So um, they are a very near and dear cause to us here in this community. Um, we lost a very dear friend of mine um, back in August of this year. And so we have been raising money in her honor in her memory. So uh, anything that you can give, please, please consider doing so. I really appreciate it. And if you can't, that's okay too. Um, anything you can do to help spread the word and spread awareness is greatly appreciated. So thank you. Thank you, Sultry, again, for getting us to 45 nice dot nice. Always love that. Hey, look, the bot said it again. The bot's like, listen, <laughs> listen. What if you actually? But, but what if? But what if you didn't know the bot? Probably. It bots. The bot's pretty astute. Perhaps it has a point. It does. It does have a point. It's a. It's a good bot and thorough. Keeper, where are you, Keeper? Did uh, you check your butt? On voice is, uh, as always, uh, our Tom, who's asking if Lollipop has checked his butt, and Lollipop, who is currently checking his butt for Keepers on the Citadel, as he's replaying Mass Effect for about the 730th time now. It is, Never after all... A Keeper will appear. It is, after all, in seven-day... 
So, for those of you who uh, are unfamiliar, Mass Effect uh, N7 is a is a very important designation in the Mass Effect universe. Um, and every November 7th is celebrated by the fans and now by Bioware as Mass Effect Day. Whatever's left of Bioware. Well, uh, that's... That's a good point. Hey, they did release that the a teaser poster today for a new Mass Effect game. <laughs> like, I will believe that we are getting one when I see a release date for it. I like seeing their new concepts and stuff that they come up with. Imagine getting a release date and nice. You need to find a new They're game for stream. <laughs> you should, Mochi. You can play the watermelon game. I mean, I you, yeah, I guess. I guess she could play the watermelon game. Uh, I haven't played Andromeda or 3. I've played 1, I've played 2. I still have not played 3 or Andromeda. This not Andromeda does pretty well to expand on the combat shit that 3 did. And then it's kind of meh in every other department. That's fair. Yeah, that was boy Mochi. That was a fucking roller coaster, wasn't it? And yeah. Um, oh. So Mochi's mentioned it before, but her husband Dan works at Microsoft, and one of the perks that Microsoft employees get is uh, they get free Game Pass, um, and. For about 10 minutes, I want to say yesterday or the day before or something, Microsoft is like, yeah, my employees are no longer getting free Game Pass. And Phil Spencer's like, hold the fuck up a minute. Let's let's think about this for a second. And also, no, that's not, that's not the case. All right, Mochi. You're well, the magic that was a of terrible the... One. What will you play next, Dodecahedron? that I'm going to spin right now. Mm. Your next game is It Takes Two. Let's let's get something better than that. Yeah, let's find what she's- Miniature 2023, <laughs> done. <laughs> no, wow. this is the wheel of Xbox. This is, this is the wheel of pain is what it sounds like. Call of the Wild, the angler. It's literally in the Xbox app. It is. It is. It's actually, yeah. It is a feature. Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. Okay, you listen. That you one could, is actually, a, a, that one's actually okay. I was about to say, you could do worse. Hell, even with Fallout games, you could do worse. You could be playing Fallout 76. Uh, what is this wheel? Dune, Spice Wars. God. Spice World. <laughs> I cast Paprika. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Coral Island. Coral! Wait, Coral. Cor Wait, Coral Island's on Game Pass? Yeah, bud. I didn't know that. And... It launched on Game Pass. I, listen, I don't know these things. There's Mass so Mass Effect 2, 2010 edition. Uh, is Mass Effect Legendary Edition still on Game Pass? I don't know. I think so. Uh, yes. Yeah. If you've never played Mass Effect before, if you've never played Mass Effect before, uh, I'll wait for the ad break to end. But, okay. boy howdy. I should play ME3 in May. Oh. Okay, that's. Y <laughs> Yakuza 5 remastered for Windows 10. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'm pretty okay. sure Br Brian played Yakuza 5. Oh, God. Now, here's a choice that is dear to my heart because I loved this game Frostpunk. Oh, Frostpunk, that's the one where you have to, like, build the city and maintain it in, like, the, the tundra, right? Yeah. I have mm. 
played a couple that were on Game Pass and it didn't. Neither of them grabbed me. I have not played a Yakuza game, but I've watched. I've watched people play it. Like I said, Brian uh, Brizek, he's he's played them, and boy howdy, they are. Honk, fuck off. Honk, fuck off. They are just who boy. Yeah, I, it was it was wild to watch him play that fucking game. Super Mega Baseball 3. So for those playing the home game, Tom is actually utilizing a, uh, a feature in the Xbox app um, where if you don't know what your next Game Pass game is that you want to play, you can let it decide for you. You can even narrow it down by genres and, and moods and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. It's a really cool feature. The Bookwalker. Thief of Tales. Thief of Tales? Yes, but like the story kind of tales, not like the uh, ass tale. Oh, Wild I was... Tales power. Who has several ass tales? Yeah. Um, well, multiples. He has multiples. Multiple. He has at minimum two. Let's build a zoo. Oh, let's build a zoo is great fun. Holy shit. Yeah. That one's great. Thank you, guys. I mean, that's fair. Farm and Coral Island. I mean, listen. People keep asking me Yikes. when I'm gonna play fucking or when I'm gonna finish fucking uh um what the hell is it um <laughs> so probably never because he doesn't know what it is <laughs> you mean the one where you abandoned Anne yeah yeah S Sunhaven that's the one. Imagine abandoning Ooh, Anne. Eastward. Oh, Eastward's a great game. A lot of fun to play. Very great story. And it is a lot more expansive than you may think at first glance. I'm not abandoning anyone. I just haven't gone back to finish it yet. Which is a lot like abandoning. No, sh shut up. <laughs> I'm not abandoning them. I just left them in one place while I never went back to. <laughs> well, now you're just describing me at my last job. I think we need some cursed artwork of uh, Zazet of, of, of walking a away from Anne no. holding holding Kitarino. Wow! God damn it! Both you and Viv. <laughs> Fuck both you and Viv. God. You fucking turds. Death Road to Canada is very fun. Oh, uh, it has now suggested a very niche indie game called Stardew Valley. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's 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 Vele. It's French, I think. Oh, well, that explains it. I've never been to Frenchonia. Yeah. Yeah. Frenchonia. Death Road to Canada, name your random pickup characters, Tom and Lolly. I, 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 that's actually something I would do. Yeah. That is 100% a move I would do. I mean, it doesn't really matter because most of the time nobody, like, stays alive. French was French French is war? I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's build a zoo is great. I should go back and play yeah. more of that and Let's build a zoo is wonderful. 
I made it. Oh, here's a fun piece of trivia about this game. You may or may not have known. Um, when Mario jumps, it makes the sound of Mario jumping. Huh. That's... Like... <laughs> like and uh, smash that notification bell to never miss more true video game facts like this. Everyone, this is my best friend Tom, and well, he's <laughs> he's kind of an idiot. And... How dare you? Am I wrong? You're gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> I am a co-holder of a world record. World record for what? Or the least amount of world records owned. Oh shit. I know what I gotta do. This fucking guy. See, Miss Violet, you get it. Use, an, use those fucking Microsoft Rewards points and get f more free shit. That's that's part of how I have Game Pass until sometime in mid-2025. Maybe early 2026 mm -hmm. now. But I have Game Pass for basically ever, and it's great, and I love it. If, if not longer. If not longer. Well, in fairness, it only Ooh. lets you top up into like three years out. So much good stuff. You know what I find odd about this game, among other things, is water is at a premium. Yeah. Right, which you would expect in the desert. Fine, no yeah. problems there. Sure. But the reason you need the water yeah. is not for you, it's for your machines. Yeah. You think they would have developed, a, like, a more efficient coolant? Well, I'm just like... Do I not require hydration? Probably. You probably don't know. You'll be fine. Hi, Liz. Thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your blankies. I am absolutely not going to play... I am absolutely not going to play League of Legends. Mochi, I love you dearly. I am never going to play League of Legends. This is like, that might be more futile than Louie trying to get me to play Overwatch. Also, Liz, thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you for 20 heckin' months. I love you bunches. Why would Louie ever try to get you to play Overwatch? He doesn't even like playing Overwatch. The, like, well, while well, that's true, well, that is. But he does play it. Yeah. <laughs> not o not only, but it's it's hilarious because it's you're both correct. Louie plays a fuck ton of Overwatch and he hates it. Oh. Viv, don't do it. No one likes playing Overwatch. I'm, I'm low-key convinced that most of the people that play Overwatch um, want Blizzard to continue to support the game just so that uh, they can continue to get adult content of it made. Because I'm pretty sure. Well, of course, Lollipop didn't shoot better. Santa Claus. That's also true, yeah. That's true. But wait, I know someone that did. Vegeta, no! Vegeta, yes! That's, that's, that's also true, yeah. 
I thought you were going to say all three Stooges, but yeah, that also works. Speaking of um, stuff that Netflix has made into anime, I do, I do want to see the anime version of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I do want to see that. Like, especially since they actually have all of the original cast. <laughs> oh! I didn't tell you about my glorious milestone accomplishment. What? I didn't even... I didn't even know I wanted it until okay. I found out that it happened. Go on. Apparently... Uh huh. Some point recently, my lovely darling betrothed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know her. Yeah. She, well, she's the one with the plants. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and the yarn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She spins a mean yarn. Yeah, yeah. She had a dream, uh, and the Power Rangers were in it. And she said she distinctly remembered within her dream thinking to herself, damn it, Tom. And I didn't know I could do that in people's sleep, and it turns out I can, and I feel very empowered, and I'm going to do it to all of you now. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> uh, Sultry, if you, if you mean like the Scott Pilgrim anime adaptation, yeah, ab that is absolutely a thing that is happening that Netflix is making, and they've got, I, as far as I know, all of the original cast back. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Tom has become too powerful. Tom, Tom was too powerful when he learned that he could fart. That's when Tom became too powerful. It's not, it's not learning about the farts. It's learning to control them and use them for evil. I yeah. mean, good. Yeah. And definitely not ever evil. Yeah, you no, know, you would never. You would never use your farts for evil. That's... <laughs> right. Correct. Yeah. So I see we're in agreement then. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Just Ooh, so slaughtering close. yak mill. All of the original cast? Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, which is like fucking <laughs> 15 fucking people. That's right. All of the original cast. Absolutely wild. Snow, thank you for confirmation. Viv, did we go over what toppings you got? Oh yeah, what what did what did you get on your Pisha, buddy? The robot chicken sketch with car parking. Uh, Moshi, Viv's league name is Duckmaster69. Hey, I know that guy. Hey, speaking of speaking of people who hate Overwatch and also play it, it's that guy. Louie. <laughs> Louie and Tay. That name was taken. Of course it was. Uh who hates over you do you do you scotch fuck <laughs> and seen this game for i know right raiders welcome in uh, besides you no ju literally just you bud just you we were just talking about you well we we did say that no one likes Overwatch. 
but they play it anyway. But you hate it. You no one hates it more than you. Mm. Viv's name has been underscore underscore. I had that somewhere. Actually, I think that was my name on like TikTok for a minute. <laughs> Because someone else had it, and then they changed it, and I got Zunderscore. I I don't have Zunderscore oh on YouTube, though. Oh my god! I just thought of a great sub sound for Louie. Go on. You you have the Zunderscore subreddit, thanks to me. That's true, Lolly Crazy. Lou yeah. Whenever Louie comes into chat, we all of a sudden just hear, Great Scott! Because he's a great Scott. He is a great Scott, it's true. Call him a scotch egg. Thinking of implicitous meanings. I had a scotch egg the other day. It was delicious. Tom, you ever had a, a scotch egg before? Yeah. You remember, um, I think it was, was it just called the pub? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they made them. And they oh, were great. Yeah. Love, love a scotch egg. I did. I sent, I actually sent a picture to Louie. Because I was like, I was like, Louie, you need to see this, buddy. He had a proud dad moment, and and to quote him, even though even though he's not my dad, and I'm way older than him, I'm I'm almost twice Louis' age, but he was proud dad. He's pretty Scotch bright. Oof, oof, and there's Tay. There's 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 yeah. our there's our okay. guy. Didn't even have to look. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that young. You're pretty young, buddy. Oh, you're but a wee lad. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. You're older than some. Yes, you are older than my wee toddler niece, and you're two, you're two weeans. Congratulations. I mean, yeah. That's like boiled eggs. Yeah, hard-boiled eggs surrounded by sausage, breaded and deep-fried. Surrounded by sausage is basically my first two days on Blue Sky before I learned where the moderation tools were. Hmm. Moderation tools. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck, I want another scotch egg now. Scotch eggs are... Mm. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. No. Oh shit. All right, here we go. The wee bobbies. It's true. Wait, did I did I say two? I meant to say three. Yeah, Louis. Louis has another one on the way. Wait, what? Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mazeltov. It's all those Louis. trips to Arby's. It is. It's that's what happens when you go to Arby's so much. You end up with a little slider or something. I don't know. Uh, you know they brought the. Uh fried mac and cheese bites back oh yeah i saw that <laughs> you tell them to fuck off until i get back my triangle potatoes yeah yeah <clears throat> yeah she's 11 it's she's 11 months old it's not it's not like he's scottish not irish right isn't that how that works uh, Irish Catholic. Okay, that's, that's you know. Well, that's fair. <laughs> How did that happen so fast? Because time is a that's fucking what, illusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the kid growing up? Yeah, eleven months old two days ago. I mean, 
the wee toddler niece just turned two, so... I'm fucking... yeah. I... I don't even fucking know, man. I don't even know. You do not at it's... all feel old. No, I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you don't. Well, that's weird, because you're super old. Yeah, Louie's like a hundred now. I know, we can smell our own. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, Viv, you've been here for about 13 years. Hey, um, so I know you've had a bunch of stuff going on. Yeah. Actually, never mind. I'm going to ask this off stream. Okay. Or you can ping me on the side if you want to. <laughs> yeah, you have to remember it, Hilti. Louis lives in the future. Let's see, I'm I'm just out of Oh. Oh. That that wasn't it. It was just It, it was just there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Someone finally answered Oh never mind. I'm not doing that. <laughs> there. That was the real question. That's yeah, I'm I'm trying to figure that out. Uh. Huh. Fair seasoning. Now I want now I want seasoning. Like um like the kind on red robin fries. Oh man. <clears throat> I have <clears throat> yum. Uh, Sydney for Christmas last year got me a set of seasonings uh, from this place, and they're all there. There, she got me three different ones. She got me good shit, special shit, and bullshit. Yep, this all checks out. Yep, <laughs> yep. I don't know if you could infer, but the bullshit is a blend that's specifically designed to taste good on beef. Hiltzy oh. also gave me seasoning. He did. He gave me some Dunair seasoning. So I smuggled some uh, Dunair seasoning back to Florida f from Vegas. In, butt. In my butt. And, yeah, and that's why they. That's why the TSA had to pat me down, you see. And the machine said well, this guy's got... To. They just wanted to. <laughs> the machine's like, this guy's hiding seasonings in his ass. Fucking get him. I, I thought they patted you down because you went, mm, you have big girthy hands, please, please touch me. He did not, in fact, have big girthy hands. Small dainties? Well, I wouldn't say small dainties. Nah. You know, they were, they were average. I don't, I don't believe that Size Queen wouldn't, wouldn't allow anything but the best. Yeah, you know, it's, hands at, upon him. at that point, pal, it was, it, it uh, what I would allow was not in the equation. Well, you had an option. You could have uh, walked home. Yeah, let me walk home to Florida from Vegas. That'd be great. Yeah. Maybe you could hitchhike and uh, a nun will pick you up. <laughs> well, as long as she understood the, the Book, Book of the, of the Road. road. <laughs> you follow the book, you'll get where you're going in no time. <laughs> Forrest Gump did it, yeah, but Forrest Gump literally ran cross country and back a couple of times. I look like I ate Forrest Gump and went back for seconds. Mm, that's good Gump. Rex and Garrus Vakarian have joined the party. Congratulations, your party's complete. You don't need anybody else. <laughs> That's it. The that's boys are back in town. that's the party. That's that's the whole party. No one else matters. Did you did you punch the reporter yet? No. Oh yeah, you gotta punch the reporter. Oh, Wait, yes. what? This what? Is, this is my renegade shepherd. I'm doing all of the. the oh, evil even things. even on a Paragon run, I punch the I punch the reporter. Oh yes. Well, yes. The, that's because punching the reporter is the right thing to do. 
I've already punched people that aren't the reporter, is what I'm saying. That's because you don't run Paragon runs. I have done one Paragon run. <laughs> I did a Paragon once. I didn't care for it. <laughs> We're punching reporters. Yeah, yeah, but but only shitty ones on the Citadel in uh, Mass Effect. Not that there aren't more reporters that need punching. Well, it's it's not reporters so much as it is opinion columnists. Dan makes fun of you for punching everything in that game? Well... But you get to punch everything in that game. Listen, you can hit your friend on the head with it. <laughs> but don't hit him on the head with it. So to spend this justice show on Spider- Louis, you can't be Spider-Man and fucking Batman. You can't be both. Spider that man. The only pl like the only universe where Spider-Man and Batman exist at the same time is in Fortnite, and you don't even have Fortnite downloaded still. The heavy armor, unlock shotguns, but I'm not gonna give him shotguns because I'm the one that uses the shotguns. Oh, you downloaded it yesterday. Well, that's a new development since yesterday. Just kidding. I'm getting it. The hyphen is required. Brought to your attention yesterday. Hiltzy, are you Hiltzy? Hiltzy, are you being a pedantic little shit? Shallow and pedantic. Mm, yeah, shallow and pedantic. All right, did I finish everything up here? I think I did. All right, let's go get the. Uh, getting the quack out of here. Go, uh, go lie down and, and digest your pisha, buddy. I might ground you. I fucking might. I've done it before. I'll do it again. I'll fucking do it again. I sometimes forget that Hiltzy is a dead, but it's true. Yeah, well. Yeah. Hey, Staff member. Hey, look, I have over a million points. That's several points. It is. It's more than zero. It is, and I have 94 lives. Hmm. I have an idea. Do I have all the points? No. Dommy, don't you threaten me with a good time. Hi, buddy. What you doing? I said what I said, Louis. Is this, is this something needs power to work? No, it doesn't. Dom, Dom, Louis, bring, bring us scotch eggs. <clears throat> Dom, I literally tastes better in Scotland. They probably do. They they probably harvest them fresh there. <laughs> the chickens lay them. That yeah, way, yeah. What we have is a cheap recreation. Meanwhile, Dom's over here literally telling users to make sure their shit's plugged in. Yeah, I worked tech support before. <laughs> I, <laughs> I understand. Boy, howdy. I think, I think many of us have... We have done our time. Authentic square sausage patties and everything. Wow. That's... Wow. Oh, hey, Lolly, I was thinking about that thing that you said the other day about how you, uh... You saw that Wendy's had a job opening for a developer. Mm hmm And, you know, it turns out, um... Well, having been a developer for many years now, and also worked at, uh, Wendy's... Working at Wendy's for quite a while... It seems that your resume would be double stacked in your favor. Uh, 
See, it's funny because I would be coming full circle as well. And I like Wendy's. It's I true. I had Wendy's for lunch today. I have maxed out on my, uh, my extra lives. Are you winning, son? Yeah, you could say that. And... Stop it. VR headset specifically for Skyrim VR. Uh, I did I did about five minutes of Skyrim VR um, a few years ago. Someone brought their PS4 into the office where I was working, um, and they had it set up where we could we could play Skyrim VR. And let me tell you, I played I played Skyrim menus in VR, and it was uh, as menu experiences go, it was pretty good. Hey, I have a, a quest too, strictly for Resident Evil Four VR. And I love it. It's a very fun game. Mm, I haven't hit my limit Shoot, on... Shooting Bang Bangs in VR is... Very fun. Very good. I haven't hit my limit on points. But I have hit the limit on extra lives. So getting extra lives until I die... Again, is pointless. All years is... is how large your dog's drinks are bigger than his head. Yeah, this is what. Yeah, Dom. Yeah, that's that is absolutely a thing here. Yeah, when uh, Wendy's did away with the biggie size, the former biggie size became the medium. And they made a large, even bigger size. They made a larger large than the biggie was before. Oh. Uh, Louis, it depends on where you go, but large can be anywhere from like 28 to 40 ounces. They got one large and shared it between four people. Yeah, that's that's about right. <laughs> or if you go to KFC, it's a fucking bucket. Or okay, okay, Louie, let me put it. Child. Let me put it to you another way, Louie. You could, in some places, you can get a large and get a literal liter of cola. Vi, 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 you want, you, girl, you want that biggie bag. You know you do. It's got delicious burgies and nugs in it. Girl. Yes, 40 ounces is just off of 1.2 liters, and that's what I'm saying. In some places, a large, you can get a literal liter of cola. And he ain't just whistling Dixie. Don't want to sit in your car for an hour. That's okay, Vi. That's fair. That's fair. Also, hi, Vi. I love you. I miss you. The service at your Wendy's is so bad. Yeah, so we have... Our Wendy's is great, and they just rebuilt ours. Like, it literally just reopened, like, three, four weeks ago. Um, yeah, our Wendy's, phenomenal. Especially at breakfast. We have this one person that works at breakfast time and uh, on the weekdays and like I always get excited when I hear her at the speaker because I know my shit is going to be fast and correct. And she's very friendly and it's just like my Wendy's, my Wendy's is the legit Wendy's. But we also have another good one around the corner too. So like we're we're kind of flush with good Wendy's around here. The alpha Wendy's. Yes. Is it hot and ready? It's not... It, Louis, it's not a Little Caesars. <laughs> but we do have... Oh, actually, I don't know if we have that Little Caesars anymore. I think it closed. Is it good? <laughs> it's hot, and it's ready. Miss Violet, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming in with the raid earlier. I hope you have a wonderful evening. 
It's a combination of Little Caesar's Wendy's Bell. <laughs> Am I surprised that you... No, I'm not surprised. Do you think I think oh, that yeah. little of you? We can call them little Bellendies. Little Bellendies? Little Bellendies nuts? Low got them? Call it hot and sweaty? I call it hot and heavy. I call it hot and heavy. That's, uh... In fairness, when me and Tom get it, it's hot and heavy because we we get a lot of it. I still want to try that calzone. Oh, I do too. I do too. You want to get the one that's like all four calzones, or you want to get the one that's like half and yeah. half? <laughs> all calzones all the time. All right. I just listen. I just you know you, and you never know what the what the mood strikes, right? And yeah. Okay. So Louis, listen, listen. Little Caesars has this thing now called the calzone, and they have two versions of it. One is two and one is four. And basically what they do is they take the pizza and they cut it into four four pieces, but they don't call, cut it all the way through. And they take and they wrap on some of them two opposite sides, on some of them all four corners, and wrap them up into a calzone towards the center of the pizza. And it's a calzone. And that's uh, that's what Little Caesars is doing. Uh, Snow, thank you again for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful sleepy sleeps. Wendy's crispy chicken sandwich with... Oh, oh God. I fucking love the... Wendy's chicken sandwich is just like... It's, it's beautiful in its simplicity. It's not trying to be anything, like, outrageous. It's just... I love a shitty chicken sandwich. Oh my god. I love it. You want to know what my favorite shitty chicken sandwich is? Fucking Burger King. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I, I do know this about you. The Burger King chicken sandwich? Top fucking tier. It's a bucket of shit and I love it. Oh, shut up, Louie. You just have brand loyalty. Get the fuck out. Well. They, it does kind of make a flower-looking thing, though, on the four, yeah. I didn't say you like your job. Listen, BK over there may be different than BK is here. this again I like BK If you had a tier list, it's a solid D tier. I got a D tier for you. D's nuts. <laughs> Lol, got him. Mac is probably C tier. Eh, yeah, alright. I'll give you that. Oh, I mean, it's really hard to say. Like... We just don't know what the European versions of these are like. That's true. That's true. Different regulations, different different everything. Yeah. We have a growing playlist called Raccoon Rave. Combination pizza song and fast food song because raccoon vibes be strong with both. That's I can dig that, Liz. I can get that. I also sometimes have raccoon vibes. It's mostly when I'm digging through the trash for scraps.
Listen, in, in a lot of ways, bears and raccoons are alike, you know? We both like to eat. We both like to dig through trash for our food. Is that's yeah, that's that's that song is definitely fucking raccoon vibes. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Oh shit. Surprisingly subway? See, generally in the States, people hate subway. Like you either love subway or you hate it. There is no in between. It barely legally qualifies as food. Yeah. Now I mean barely. Now I love Subway, but that's also because the defense rests. <laughs> in fairness, in fairness, I refer once again to bears having raccoon vibes, and also. <laughs> I like that sweet onion chicken teriyaki, and I will... I want that to be part of my last meal. Whoops. Sorry, you look like a cactus. Please don't chase me. Bye. The Subway in Bulgaria, the best sandwich you've ever had? The fuck are they putting in the sandwiches at Subway in Bulgaria? Holy shit. We thought the subs because they are good to us. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Who started because I've been managing yourself as a group of raccoons and possums holding ritual around a burning dumpster because you've been binge watching Twilight? No. <laughs> I've been imagining myself as a group of raccoons and possums holding ritual around a burning dumpster when, when, when a witch is feeling herself. <laughs> oh my. Oh, not like not that. Not like that. Don't know what they did. It was amazing. Do as they're told. I mean, yeah. See, Liz, I get you. I'm, I'm. All right, here we go. Forest of Illusion. I don't think I'm going to be able to 100% this tonight. Forest of Illusion sounds like something a shitty magician would say. Also sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Join me tonight, audience. As I travel through the Forest of Illusion. dance off has started what's a quiznos uh, quiznos was a chain that we had here in the states that their whole their whole hook was they made sandwiches but they toasted them like like toasting was part of the experience but then like quiznos came out and then everyone else started toasting their sandwich everybody else bought a fucking like turbo chef and so then it was like okay <laughs> And it's like, oh, these sandwiches aren't great. They're just toasted. But we can get that wherever we want now. Oh, the torpedoes? Yeah, I remember those. Gangnam Style is definitely raccoon vibes, yeah. I could see that.
I should make a playlist of every song that working in retail ruined for me forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then what's the point of making a playlist I'm never going to listen to ever, even if there's a fire? Yeah, you... you are they monkeys? Are they... I thought they were mice. Like, rats. Ooh, it's up there. Yeah, it's... Um, Actually, every Christmas song is on that list. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> Even ones that have come out since I worked in retail. Oh, the sponge monkeys. Okay. All right. Well, pretty much every song Richard Marks ever sang. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Listen, as long as as long as as long as they're cool with it, as long as they know and they're cool with it, who gives a shit? <laughs> Although I will say, Ali Beth is She's probably not too keen on sharing Tom because she she's already has to share him, so that's with me. I'm the one that she has to share him with. Mm -hmm. <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh. No, Ellie will not be well. She hates that you're shared with your best friend. I mean, were they your best friend when you met Ellie? Did this best friend relationship already exist? If so, I will once again remind her what we always remind of Ali Beth of, and that is, you knew what you were getting into. You knew what you signed up for. She was warned. That's right. Mm -hmm. By the best friend. Oh, well, see, that's even better. Look how happy Yoshi looks. Well, he's just a happy little guy. He's just a hap, hap, happy guy. Just a hap, hap, happy guy. That's because you haven't abandoned him to make a jump yet. Oh, yeah, no, I, I will murder him eventually. These fucking Yoshis are everywhere, man. I love this. I love the like the charging Chuck who's just looking around like, what are all these fish? By the way, did you all just hear how Zunder talked about Yoshi? That's how your employer thinks about you. That's actually fucking true. Mm -hmm. Should Cowboy Screaming go on Raccoon Rave? Liz, if, rac if Cowboy Screaming is not Raccoon vibes, nothing is. Well done, Liz. Proud of you, buddy. I'm always proud of you, though. Nice. Weaponry upgraded. Hmm. Love upgraded weaponry. Yeah, let's go make. Let's go make this somebody's problem. Let's see. Correct, Louie. Well, sorry, cows, but, uh... Wow. You're the closest killable entity. Don't want to go outside yet. I'm not done. Oh, yes. Tom's very excited. Oh. 
Look how much more comfortable we are shooting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only one man would dare give me the raspberry. Lone, Lone Star. star. <laughs> I don't know what that is, Liz. I'm uncultured. Like so much swine. Yes. Uh, no, you haven't missed Golden Girl's Wisdom. Uh, I had it turned off the other day. And I just didn't turn it on tonight. So there you have it. Works for me. I'm doing stuff. Yeah, Tom's doing stuff. Liz, you're saying words at me and like... No, I'm playing Sandrock. Yeah, Sandrock came out recently. So, Tom playing that now that it's in full release. Yeah. Oh, hey. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. And it's out on burgers, which means milkshakes? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mochi, where are you? Where are you, uh? Oh. Where are you getting burgers Mochi. from? Mochi, do you have burge? Well, Dan apparently has the burge. Good burger. I don't even know what that is. I mean, I don't know Fucking what. Fucking movie with Mork from Ork in it? <laughs> they are making a good burger, too. They already made it. It's almost out. Whoa. I saw trailers for it. All right, that's. that's Okay, good point. Good point. And it's good. Uh, Mochi, you know what I haven't had in years? Fucking dicks. <laughs> You're welcome, boys. You're welcome. <laughs> right, and got a double set of your sandwiches, you know. Oh, nice. Well done. Well done, Louie. Perfect. Perfect. Well done, boys. Well done. Bag of dicks together. Yes! Ah, uh, no. Burgers, Fritz. Uh, dicks is a burger place up in, uh, in the Seattle area. Vi, I told Bean the other day, I'm like, by the way, um, our Seattle trips have to get, you know, we have to extend our Seattle trips further and further now, and she's like, why? I'm like, I inadvertently have more Seattle people. She's like, how many do you have? I'm like, lots. <laughs> there are several. Fritz, how you doing, pal? Hope you're having a good evening. How are the milkshakes sold out? Oof. Oof. Ooh. The south, but only almost. Listen, I have... Vi, you know I have... <laughs> God oh, damn it, oh. there's a typo in it. Oh well. I can fix it. I can fix it. We can f we can actually fix it in post. 
We can actually fix that one in post. I mean, if anything ever needed to be quoted. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. Dickie's barbecue pit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is this is different. Hey, I got a cloud. On the chuckle flux tonight and the games where we all playing and have we eaten and had a drink. Um, so I can't. I I won't answer for the chuckle fucks on how they're doing, but I can say that Tom is playing. My time at Sandrock, Lolly is playing Mass Effect for the 955th time, and I, as you can see, am playing Super Mario World for probably the 1400th time. I Roughly. Know, fair to Midland. Yeah. I had a four day weekend, so all things considered, I can't complain. You don't like them? Okay, Mochi, why don't you like them? Just out of curiosity, what's... Oh, for Christ's sake. What? What? What'd I do? Mochi, that's probably a conversation you should have had with Dan before you married him. <laughs> Listen, we don't know the particulars of their marriage. Maybe that works out for them. Maybe it does. I nail that. Holy shit, I fucking nailed it. Look at me go. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, that's 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 fair, Liz. I love the way in this particular level of this game they use the motion of the background layer to simulate high speed. Only one location is dying in, which is never worth going to, despite being so cheap. I don't think it tastes very good. Oh, see, that's the difference between you and me, Mochi. I like cheap garbage food. Oh, hey, speaking of... Uh, when do you want to go back to Denny's? <laughs> oh, yeah, we should, we should go back to Denny's. We haven't had Denny's in, like... Well, bacon only is over. Yeah, but... <laughs> In fairness, that was that was emotional support, Denny's. Cannibal by Kesha, yeah. I mean, yeah, hundred percent, Liz. It's always either emotional support, Denny's, or drunk recovery, Denny's. Or it could be it could be fat, like unscrupulous taste, Denny's. <clears throat> oh, Thank you. Or it could be it could be a uh, regular ass breakfast with senior Denny's. <laughs> what did I just say? <clears throat> that falls under unscrupulous. 3 a.m. in a crowded parking lot, cash only, drunk, trying to eat fries. Well, okay, so, like, that could be part of it. And I mean, and I'm not. I like need to quote. Mm. Honestly. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah. Just take it completely out of context. <laughs> yeah, load that son of a bitch up. Go ahead, do it. And... But I'm playing Mass Effect. Oh, I'll do it. I got it. I can do this. Oh, you okay, Tom got it. Thank you, Tom. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. I want to. <laughs> 
Okay, now here's here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. I want to go back to something that Louis said because there were, I feel like there was like a non sequitur in here and I want to know exactly what's happening because Louis was talking about how how Ellie was trying to mother us by asking us if we've eaten and had, you know, drink and how we're doing, blah, 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 blah. And then he goes, he's like, she's mothering you lot, run. The hormones are hitting early. And then he goes, all I will say is don't knock it till you've tried it. Louie, could you please expand on that and give us more context? It's it's the the mothering part is fine. I'm just talk I'm 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 talking exclusively about the don't knock it till you've tried it. What uh what what are you trying over there, buddy? Oh, Mochi liking not liking dicks. Okay, that's that's okay. Gotcha. Look, it's Trent Reznor. Maybe Dan likes sticks. That's true. That's true. I'm really, just, I'm really tired when it comes to talk. Talk about dicks. That's yeah. That's you do get a lot of that up there. Mochi's like I've heard every dick joke possible because of dicks. The restaurant. Is that a challenge? <laughs> no. Fair point. I got the extra life anyway. I forgot about this. Oh, Jesus Christ. They made farming the most convoluted, stupid fucking thing possible. How in the fuck did, is it somehow worse than Porsche? Well, the tutorial is seven screens. What? Understood, Mochi. Who was I watching play this the other day in like, oh, maybe it was Mary. Mary was playing this and uh, boy, howdy, she was having a time. frames ow you would die like a million times it's it's when you play it when you play it the first time you absolutely die a million times this like that is one of the roughest like platform sections of this game damn it Fuck, would you have done that? Alright. So how do I get out of this? Okay. Secret... Mochi, you can't face tank spikes. That's not how spikes work in this game. 
You can't just face take the spikes. I'm looking. I'm just telling you that's how not that's not how spikes work. You can do it in Mass Effect. This isn't Mass Effect. I'm not Commander Shepard. I'm some fucking plumber from Brooklyn. Onward to the dangerous but tasty chocolate island. If I had an island made entirely of chocolate, that's where I would die. Mm, that's it. That's the place. Chocolate. Mmm, chalky. Um, okay, that's that. This is my favorite castle on the Citadel. <laughs> Is it lacto free chalky? I mean, maybe. Oh, I think I've gotten all the, uh, oh no. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Remember when, uh, when, when you, 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 you gave up on Kitarino like that? Oh, no, I don't. Up on Kitarino. Yeah, upstate. He went up to a farm upstate, Louis. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing happened. Oh god, it's this one where the floor shifts. <clears throat> yeah. Refiner. Oh, you're a forging machine. What's wrong with you? Everything's all fun and games until the platform just disappears from underneath your feet. Food's here. Oh, Louie's gonna go get his subway. Daddy buys. Ah! Ooh, this is the one where the... the oh, yeah. The block ghosts. Come on, block ghosts. Building kick. Explosions. Did we lose one? I feel like that that commercial explains everything that's wrong with America. Well, gee, no Somehow. one needs to see that commercial ever. No one needed to see it then. Nobody needs to see it now. Mochi, did you put it in random? Those people need to be stopped. Have you ever seen what the original music video for that song that that's based off of is? No. Moshi out here doing the Lord's work, TM. The original song involving those hamsters is called We Like the Moon. Chumba Wumma's tub thumping? Yes. Oh, yeah. Hunt. Oh, that's a good one, Liz. That's a real good one. I like that. Oh. Can't make any of that. Um, okay. Oh, this is the good one. Yeah, I got the good ending. Yeah. This is the most interesting level of this entire game. Because you will go to different parts of the level based on timing and shit. Like, it's, it's all very... Like, there's a lot of variables that go into it, and there's multiple different ways that you can complete the level. It's really weird and cool. Like, I want to say there's, like, five different areas that there are. Well, it's, it's like... There's... 
Like, it depends on... Because I, I wanted, like, the secret exit, right? Because I'm going for 100%, so... Food's there, time to noms. Nice. Enjoy the num noms. All right, I'm going to wait a minute. Oh, Louie, don't worry about it. It's fine, don't worry. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, like, this is just... It's neat, you know? Like, it's just... It was a really cool concept that they did. And I thought... There should be more of that kind of stuff. There's the regular exit. So, for those of you who are above a certain age, remember when Nintendo had a hotline that you could call to help you figure out game stuff? Oh, yeah. So, I used that hotline once and, a, and only once to try to figure out what exits I was missing to get my 96 total. Because there are 96 total exits that you can take in this game. Um, and I thought there might've been something on chocolate Island that I missed. Um, turns out I figured it out later, but, uh, this was, I just thought that was neat that this was the game that I used that on. And I was like, fucking, I don't know, like nine, maybe eight. I don't know. <gasps> cash. Hi cash. How are you? Hey, would one of you fellers mind doing a heckin' shout-out for cash for me when you have a moment? Oh, sure. Thanks, Good. buddy. <coughs> Thanks, Lolly. Macklemore Thrift Shop is vacuum rave material for sure. I never listen to Macklemore. Let's approach the subject of waking a sleeping wife. Louie, you go in and say, uh, honey, I... Just put I, a sandwich under her nose. Yeah, just basically, yeah. Play the YouTube video. That'll... <laughs> Louie, do not play that YouTube video for your sleeping pregnant wife, lest you be murdered. No amount of, no amount of food that she likes will keep you from being murdered. Mochi, no... <laughs> Uh, want your daylight savings back? Listen, I like, I like the, uh, I like when it gets, uh, darker, uh, earlier. I'm, I'm a big, big fan of that. And I don't care which one we pick. I just want us to pick one and fucking be done with it. Yeah. <gasps> Did I even it out? Oh my God. I'm going to, I'm going to have zero bonus stars. Look at that. Evened out. You two are missing an exit in this game for a long time? Yeah, like... Like having your own right and just want the whole thing existing? Yeah. Like... There's no reason it should exist now. There's none whatsoever. And like, we're, God, we're almost there. But just like so many other things in this country, we just can't quite fucking get it over the finish line, can we? So, yeah. do, 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 do. Didn't, like, didn't Florida specifically like attempt to just go, yeah, we're gonna let it happen one more time and then we're done. And then they were like, uh yeah, never mind, we changed our mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Uh Arizona said fuck it. Uh Indiana, parts of Indiana also do not observe daylight savings time. Um Yeah, I was actually confused on my way home from Vegas because my layover was in Phoenix and I was looking at the time and I'm like, why is this Phoenix is not like, what? And well, I forgot that Phoenix was uh, Because Arizona I forgot like the time zone thing and so because at the time we were still observing daylight saving time um, They uh 
It was a little closer. <gasps> Is that a kitten's cat? Hello, baby. Hello. What you doing? The loaf came to say hi. Loaf, I love you. Oh, she I said I love you, and she looked at me and gave a tiny meow. Meow. Oh, what a baby. Meow. I really don't. Like, I don't understand what the holdup is in disposing of it. Like, usually when there's something like that, it's because it makes someone money to still exist. But I, like, who makes money off of this? Uh, so... Or maybe it's that no one loses money, and therefore it's not a priority. So it's probably, probably that, combined with the fact that it is a lot, so... So much software has to be changed to account for that kind of thing. Like, there are updates to operating systems and applications that track time and shit like that. Like, calendar applications, think like Outlook and shit like that. There is shit that has to... Um, like, that shit all has to get updated to account for it. It is... Yeah, it's a different kind of Y2K, yes. So it's like, it's not catastrophic, but boy howdy, is it fucking inconvenient and, and, uh, and confusing. When I worked for the lottery company, we had all of that daytime shit. We had that all configurable, so if they did away with, uh, daylight savings time tomorrow, we would just have to go in and, like not and just change one 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 little hour two daylight two times and then never <laughs> god damn it mochi again he's an ETA shit life. yeah yeah it's it's awful little kitten where's kitten's cat oh, she's by the stairs now Thankfully, we don't have to change any clocks because all like well, I change I I take the that stove. back. We do the have stove is the last bastion of <laughs> yeah the stove and the Mikey wave. That's true. I always forget about the stove right, and the Mikey and wave. At what cost to to not do that? Because you know that's not going to happen until we get a smart microwave or a smart oven, and I'm like not on board for that. You don't want to. You don't want to. Are you telling me you don't want a smart appliance that you could remotely, like, turn on that could burn down your house? You don't Correct. want a smoven? A smoven. A smove glove. <laughs> uh, microwave is auto and stove too. Oh, that's nice. At least in my car, I can go and push a button. Like, my car actually has a setup to where I can just go turn daylight saving on or off. And it just does it. Or that others can turn on and remotely burn down your house. Exactly, see? Cash gets it and she knows what's up. It's fucking. This is why the only like smart shit that we have in the house are literally just lights. And, like, not all of them, a few of them. Yeah, I, I didn't think about it originally, but the, after a while it made sense as to why I couldn't yell at my Google Home to open my garage. Yeah. And so the other thing is that I didn't want to, they, they, Chamberlain tried to paywall that whole functionality behind a subscription, and I was like, I'm not... I'm not paying a subscription to yell at the Google Home to maybe close my garage door. No. So. No. I just do it through the app. I don't care. Spectre. Hi, buddy. Thanks for the alert. Good to see you, pal. I'm not a speedrunner. Listen, if I was a speedrunner for this game, I would have to have been done by now. I'm not speedrunning. Actually, I would have been done by now. A long time ago. Yeah, this this game this game you can finish pretty quickly. This part of plans to do is make people lazy. I 
I'm all for efficiency. And listen, I, and if efficiency means lazy, I'm fine with that because I'm a sysadmin, right? Like, I'm a sysadmin and I'm a de developer. Hell, I have shit built into my bot and I added features to Firebot specifically so I can be lazy and facilitate my own laziness. So I'm fine with lazy as long as it's responsible lazy. That's it's different, right? And All of my smart devices have a have an off button. Like I replaced a whole bunch of my light switches with a with a smart that they're a smart device, and they have like reset buttons on them. And it's also just like it's in and of itself, it's a light switch. So, like, I just push a button and it turns off. It's fine. It works great. Work smarter, not harder. Yes, that. I dabble with the automation and it works good for the most part, you know, when my internet isn't being stupid. Well, in fairness, your internet provider's... Oh, poop, I died. Your internet provider's kind of being a turd right now. Um, the only other thing that I'll say is, is that it would be fantastic if, uh... You know, it was more than just me being the only person to, you know, be able to consistently have their voice be recognized by Google. Are you and telling me? have a very hard time recognizing, like, literally anyone else around here. Are you telling me that technology presents an un... like... It presents bias based on the people who make it? Mm-hmm. Imagine that. Imagine the fuck about that. I like the home automation because we both have ADHD. And a lot of stuff we will just plain forget about that's, if it isn't automated. That's fair. I like it because there are certain things that we will turn on. Sorry, I had to, my eye was itching. There are certain things that like... For example, um, we have lamps that will come on, like, or the living room lamp will come on at sunset, right? Because, oh, I should. Yes, I have eyes. It's legs, Mochi. It's legs that streamers don't have. He has legs. Don't let him lie to you. Don't tell the people I have legs. Let them, let them maintain their illusion. You have kneecaps, too. That's a, what a very Italian thing of you to say. Uh, not if he keeps up his shit. <laughs> I was about to say. Str <laughs> Strimmer cannot have legs, that's correct. Um, so, like, we have a couple of things, like the... Hiltzy, stop telling people about my legs. Um, in those lakes too. That's because we go eat Never Ending Possible together. We should do that again soon. And meat. Oh, so much meat. And Denny's. And Denny's. And the Denny's. I also love the Denny's. All right, here we go. All right, this is windy. It is. All right. Tell her to give you a baconator. <laughs> Sir, this is not a Wendy's. This is it's a different Wendy's. Mochi, it's different. See, that's true. Fritz has never seen my legs, and he's known me longer than literally anyone else here. Yeah. Fritz just needs to get with the program, honestly. I've seen, I've seen your legs. It's because you paid extra. You bought me dinner. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, I was going to talk about this earlier, because I think Mochi was the first one who mentioned wanting a Frosty. 
Um, but Cash, do you, but Cash, do you remember seeing my legs, or do you just remember me floating a, a, at approximately eye level? <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. Uh, Louis, I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> See, see, Cash, you didn't see my legs. You just saw that I was at I was at eye level. You never know. I could have been floating. Hiltzy could have been carrying me around like in one of those uh, those baby Bjorn things. I mean, that'd probably be you know really painful for him because I'm heavy. But goddamn, it could happen. He's got one of them strong Canadian backs. He'll be fine. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's from all those years of being a lumberjack. And dance in the raccoon pot. Oh. Liz, I can throw my arms around a bunch. Is appropriate for Vegas? I mean, that's that's fair. Good, good legs for moose riding. <laughs> <laughs> come here come here mushroom good burger time mochi enjoy your good burger i hope it is delicious and you're the burge yes well that's because she's a sweet girl Hi, Loaf. Are you the Loaf? Yeah. Oh. She's a very sweet girl. No limbs left behind unless medically necessary. Alright, fine. It was David and we barely got out alive. Oh my god. That, I think that was the third time in my life that I quit a, an instructional program because the uh, the instructor was just terrible. Good, Louie, enjoy your night, pal. Thank you again for the rain. I love you, buddy. Want another millennial commercial? Please, Mochi, please. Bless us, bless us with the ancient knowledge. Was there a kitty? Was she coming back? Bean's, Bean's sitting on the floor just outside of the office and Loaf is wandering back and forth. It's like, oh look, the joy of Pepsi. Oh my god. Don't know that one. I remember that one. Wait, when did I die three times? Uh, that one time you died three times. Oh, I forgot. Is she getting the good scritches over there? Oh yeah, she's getting good scritches over there. Today, uh, I went to go pick up something for Bean um, while she was still at work, and uh, our neighbors, who have the elderly Chihuahua, they were out giving him the walkies. And uh, as soon as he saw me, like, he, he was, he was, boy, he was tugging on that leash. He's like, I gotta go come see my buddy, because he knows I give him the good belly rubs. Ah. Uh, Night, Mochi. Enjoy your burgies. And sorry about your lack of milkshake. But yeah. Our next door... Our next door chihuahua friend, his name is Lucky. And he is old, and he's a sweet old man. And he loves the belly rubs. He'll just... He'll walk up to me, he'll like, try to run up to me, and then like, 
slowly collapse over just to get the belly rubs. He's a good boy. Oh, shit. Dang. Loaf didn't see it. It doesn't count. Yeah. What's that loaf doing? Loaferino. Is that my loaf? Someone just say hello. Oh, she's super. She's like, I know what happens when dad tries to get me over here when those those big lights are on. He's going to try to scoop the cat so everybody can see the kitty. But not today, buddy. Not today. She's not feeling it. She's Sneepy Loaf. She's best kitten's cat in the whole world. Relate. What, being Sneepy or the best kitten's cat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom can relate to being the best kitten's cat. It's on my to-do list. Bye, kitties. Love you. Bean and Loaf are wandering off to go get cozy before the bed's yeah. time. I think that's something else that you can relate to, Tom. You also like to get cozy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Go for some of that cozy right, meow. Mm-hmm. Right. Meow. The record is seven, but I think you can do ten. Starting right, meow. <laughs> Honestly, having Gaffigan be the guy that they pulled over for that bit was just like really, really good casting, I think. He did it well. Like Jim Gaffigan is is one of the few people with the mix of like who can act, but also is still convincingly, like, confused and bewildered by the whole thing. watch Super Troopers in, in a hot minute. Man, it has been a while. Yeah. You know, something that I've been thinking about doing, like, this is stuff that I've always wanted to do, I just, it never feels like, like I have the right time, or I, I'm poor, bad at planning this kind of stuff. But I, yes, he'll see, I would love to have a community movie night, like, maybe once a month, where we all just hang out in Discord, watch a movie, You know, that would be, that would be just lovely. Would absolutely love that. Ooh. You know, I can see it, Liz. I don't know if I would... I don't know if it would be raccoon vibes from... Well, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Mm. On Discord Day watching Doctor Who? Nice. This is what's so hard. It's a bit about Chris Kroon through an airport security... Oh, God. 
And that's the second time Fritz almost died. Well, I mean, Fritz, you've been here when I've blacked out before. Oh, man. That's always a show. Isn't it? That's a good one. Remember the first time that happened on this show? Yeah, I sure do. I sure do. Do you remember the first time it happened, Lolly? Yes. Yeah? My face planted playing Minecraft. <laughs> it's when you... Is that the first time? That was yes. that was the first time, yeah. It's when you face planted playing Minecraft trying to steal fucking sea lanterns, you little gremlin. In my defense, they were sea lanterns. Uh-huh. And I wanted them. Oh, I don't even remember, Fritz. I wanted them in my belly. Or something. Mmm, -hmm. sea lanterns. Oof. All right, I'm going to wait for them to come back around again. There we go. Yeah, nice. Fritz, have a good night, buddy. We're we're about to wrap it up here. Just a second. Well, I want to see how far I got in my almost three hours. Oh, man. Upgraded weapon is fantastic. <laughs> okay, let me do the math real quick. So I want to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, Hilti, I was talking over it. Uh, so let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want to say 14. So by my estimation, I want to see, say, 82 is where I ended up. Look at that. 82 on the nose. So I know exactly the 14 that I'm missing. Um, I got the special zone. That's 8. And then the 6 that are remaining. So in, uh, in world 8 there. So, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad for a night's work, huh? Not bad at all. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, well, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, it was a fun time. And uh, I might do another retro on Thursday, or maybe during the day tomorrow. Because um, I want to, like, I want to play with the new the new countdown the countdown for retro stuff is now interactive so if you show up at the beginning of, sh of stream you can actually uh affect the countdown it's a lot of fun you can do exclamation point coin in chat and there's an interactive coin counter which is really fun so um yeah i'm 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 enjoying that it's it's a good time uh anyway um that'll do it for tonight so yeah thank you all for hanging out uh thank you to uh, hiltsy and louis for the raids um thanks for the donations to trans lifeline we're still raising money for it we will be through at least the end of this month uh, i have some other stuff that may be coming up in december i don't know yet but i would like for us to hit the our five thousand dollar goal for trans lifeline by the end of november and we are just a little over $400 shy of that. So um, let folks know they can come donate anytime. Twitch.tv slash charity slash underscore. Um, and let's let's hit that goal because um, I really want us to hit that. Yes, CKY, buddy. I got to go. I got to go. I got to do it. I got to go snuggle the bean in the loaf. It's just it's the way of the world. 
Matt's, what a world! What a world! Matt's forty today. Yeah, let's go. Let's go raid Matt because he's old. He does not look it, and I, I hate mean, him for was, it. If that was the classification, I'd be getting raided all the time. <laughs> You'd have to stream first, pal. Raid these nuts. Not worth it. Yeah, right. No deal. <laughs> Playing Celeste, nice. All right, let's go. Let's go raid Matt. And we're gonna go raid our buddy MX Northwest. He is just a wonderful being. We love him very much. I get to spend a lot of time with him at TwitchCon, which was an absolute fucking delight. So um, there's the raid message. Please, let's spam his chat with it when we get there. Um, and it'll be a good time. Um, hey, until, uh, until next time. Until we meet again. <laughs> yes. Um, please remember, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.